If you know his reason, sing oh sana, oh sana, in the highest, in the highest, in the highest, so I can't believe that I can't believe. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Cause is any man that hangs on the key. He took your cause. 
Tell him and he set free. Celebrate him and they break a tata. I shed them a lot of us. And if you know that the power that red Jesus from the dead is active in this service and is going to turn this around, open your mouth and give him a shout. Can somebody celebrate the love of Jesus? Celebrate his sacrifice. Yeah. Celebrate God, celebrate God, celebrate God. Can you join those hands together for your God? He's worthy. Our King is worthy. He has won the victory.
Lord, you're so good. You're a good, good God, Lord, you're so good. Jesus, Lord, you're so good. Ah, you're so good, so good to me. I am a man of Kusiata. We declare, Lord, you're so good. You're a good God. You're a good God, Lord. You're so good. See what you did, Jesus, Lord. You're so good. You're so good to Where would I be? If you left me, God, where would I be? If you left me, God, what would have been my story, God? If you left me, God, where would I be? Where would I be? If you left me, Jesus, where would I be? What would have been my story? If you left me, what would have been my story? If you didn't die on the cross, Jesus, if you left me, where would I be? Where would I be? If you left me, where would I be? Where would I be? If you left me, God, Jesus, where would I be? What would have been of me if you left me?
I worship this in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, someone who knows uh, that Jesus went to the cross uh, just for your sake. Uh, the Bible says uh, he was wounded for your transgressions. Uh, he was bruised uh, for your iniquities. Uh, the chastisement of your peace uh, was upon him. Uh, and by his stripes, uh, you and I were healed. Uh, draw your head back uh, and celebrate Jesus with a shout. Uh, celebrate Jesus with a shout. Did you know uh, they couldn't crucify Jesus uh, until they engaged Pilate? Uh, the Bible says, uh, Mark 15, 15, uh, and so Pilate, uh, willing to content uh, the people, uh, he released Barabbas uh, unto them uh, and released Jesus uh, to be crucified. Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, say, oh Lord, uh, by reason uh, of the death uh, of Jesus, uh, the thrones of kings uh, will not be used uh, against me, uh, men in authority uh, will not be used uh, against me. Uh, ignorant men uh, will not be used uh, against me. Uh, every conspiracy uh, to use men uh, against me. Uh, scatter my fire. Shout fire. Luke 23, 23. Uh, and they were instant uh, with loud voices uh, requiring uh, that he may be crucified. Uh, and the voices of them uh, and the chief priests uh, prevailed. Uh, say, O oh Lord, uh, by reason uh, of the death of Jesus, uh, voices of negativity uh, will not prevail uh, against me. Uh, loud voices uh, of wicked men uh, against me uh, shut up my fire. Evil speakings uh, against me uh, shut fire. Evil reports, uh, evil reporters uh, against me uh, shut fire. Mark 15, 17, uh, and they clothed him with purple uh, and plated a car and crown of thrones uh, and put it on his head. Uh, they put a crown of thorns uh, upon his head uh, say oh lord uh, by reason uh, of the death of jesus uh, i will not wear a crown of thorns uh, i will not wear a crown in pain uh, i will not suffer uh, on my throne uh, my rising uh, will not bring me uh, bitter tears uh, shout amen uh, mark 15 38 uh, and the veil of the temple uh, it was divided into two uh, from top to bottom uh, shout amen uh, Say, oh Lord, uh, by reason uh, of the death of Jesus, uh, every veil uh, is torn, uh, every covering uh, is torn, uh, every limitation uh, is removed. Uh, I gain access uh, to my new uh, where I was rejected. Uh, I enter by fire where I was disqualified. Uh, I am qualified by mercy. Uh, shout amen. Uh, Luke 23 44. Uh, and it was about the sixth hour, uh, and there was darkness uh, over all the earth. Uh, until the night hour, uh, say, Oh Lord, uh, by reason uh, of the death of Jesus, uh, I will not live uh, in darkness, uh, I will not walk uh, in darkness, uh, I will not dwell uh, in darkness, uh, every darkness uh, around my life uh, and by fire. Uh, let there be light, uh, my light uh, will not go off, uh, my light uh, will not go down, uh, my light uh, will not be covered. Uh, shout amen. Uh, and when Jesus Jesus, uh, therefore had received uh, the vinegar uh, he said uh, it is finished uh, shout uh, it is finished uh, say oh lord uh, by reason uh, of the death of Jesus uh, it is finished uh, it is finished uh, every negativity uh, is finished uh, every battle uh, is finished uh, every affliction uh, is finished uh, every destiny reduction uh, is finished uh, Every stagnation uh, is finished. Uh, every walk of the enemy uh, is finished. Uh, shout amen. Uh, and the angel uh, said to the women uh, that came to the grave, uh, he is not here, uh, but he is risen. Uh, can you say, oh Lord, uh, because uh, Jesus uh, rose again, uh, I rise again. Uh, I am bouncing back uh, where I went down. Uh, I rise again uh, where I was written off. Uh, I rise again uh, where I failed. Uh, I rise again uh, where I was pushed down. Uh, I rise again. Uh, I rise again. Uh, I rise again. Uh, shout amen. Uh, shout amen. Uh, shout amen. Crucified, lay behind the stone. You leave to die, rejected and alone, like a rose, trampled on the ground. You too. 
beautiful. Thank you, Jesus, and thought of me.
Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. How many of you are grateful for what He did for you on the cross of Calvary? The ye I gotta keep moving on. I gotta keep moving on. Oh, sin around me, pain is on me, stress is on me. But I gotta keep moving on. Tears are streaming, heart is beating. All is leaving, but I gotta keep moving. Some will trust in our season, but I will look to the hills from we not feel. Some may say, Oh, oh, oh. I keep my eyes on you, I will not move. On the hill there's a cross, on the cross there is blood for me, for me. On the hill there's a cross, on the cross there is blood for me, for me. Sing it again. On the hill there's a cross, on the cross there is blood for me, for me, there's a hill on the cross, on the cross, there is blood for me, for me, there's a hill, there's a cross. Thank you for loving me. Thank you 
who did it on the cross of Calvary. Thank you for loving. Oh, thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving. Say thank you for loving. Thank you for loving. Jesus, you did it on the cross. But die for me. For saving me. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Thank you for loving. 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 Because of you, I'm free. Because of you, I'm healed. Because of you, I'm healed. Thank you for loving. 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 Thank you for saving. 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 You sent your son to die for me. 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 Your son has helped me. Your son has healed me. You sent your son to die for me. Oh, on the hill, there's a cross. On the cross, there is blood for me. For me. On the hill, there's a cross. On the cross, there is blood for me. For me. Oh, precious. Is the flow that makes me white as snow? No other fount. I know nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that. Makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of thee. Can I get you to church? Oh, precious is the floor that makes me white. White as snow. No other found, no other found, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, one more time. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other found, no. Ooh, nothing but the blood, nothing but the blood of G. Everybody, oh, precious, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow, that makes me white as snow. No other fountain, no, no other fountain, no. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Everybody, one more time. Oh, precious. Oh, precious. Oh, precious. Is the flow that makes me white as snow. That makes me white as snow. That makes me white as snow. No other fruit. No other fruit. No other fruit. I know. Would you have moved your hands to the Lord? Nothing but the blood. And you looked past my sins. 
of your death and resurrection you could have chosen not to do it but Lord you did it thank you immortality that became mortality in order to save those 
who never, who didn't love you. For while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Father, we thank you. What a love. What an amazing God you are. Forgiver, redeemer, cleanser, rewriter of stories, changer of destinies. We are here because you died. We have a voice because you died. Lord, we can stand because you died. Lord, the accuser of our brethren have lost the hold because you died. You died for our sins in the past. You died for our sins in the present. You died for our sins in the future. What a God you are. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Be magnified, O oh God. Let the church say a louder amen. When I was growing up as a Christian, there's a song that we sang many years ago. Reduce the key for me. I am confused. So I need you to understand. The song says, um, so let me sing and you just follow me. Let me sing in what is comfortable for me. So let me sing, let me sing. He paid the debt he did not owe. I owe the debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I see a brand new song. Amazing grace. Lord Jesus. scriptures to the book of Matthew chapter 27 we read the book of Matthew chapter 27 it's important that we read Matthew 27 and we're going to read from verse 1 all the way down all the way down uh, literally literally we're going to read all the way down to verse 35 Matthew chapter 27 from verse 1 to verse 35 glory to God glory to God I don't know that you know that Jesus died as he was crucified. Sin was crucified. Shame was crucified. Pain was crucified. Generational causes were crucified. Infirmities were crucified. Afflictions were crucified. At the sound of your amen, I announce none of this will be seen in your life. I'm not sure your amen understood what I said. I say none of this will be seen in your life. Let your amen rise higher. 
So we'll read from verse 1 all the way down to verse. Um, we'll read all the way down to from verse 1 to verse um, 37. Did I say 37 or 38? Anyway, wherever we stop, we stop. Can we read together at the count of three? Can we read together one, two, three? When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is thou to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful for to put them into the treasury because it is the price of blood. And they took counsel and brought them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Wherefore that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet saying, and they took the 30 pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value and gave them for the potter's field as the Lord appointed me. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Are thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things the witness against thee? And he answered him to never a word, and so much that the governor marveled greatly. Now at that feast the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would. And they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto him, Whom will he that I release unto you? Barabbas or Jesus is called Christ. For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twine will ye that I release unto you? They said, Barabbas. Pilate said unto him, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil had he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Then released he Barabbas unto them, and when he has caught Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the uh, the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers and they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. And after they had mocked him, they took the rope off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man of Serene, Simon by name, him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they were come unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of skull, they gave him vinegar to drink mingled with gall. And when he had tested thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garment, casting lot that he might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lot. And sitting down, they watched him there and set up over his head his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then were two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and another on the left. Our Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Father, we say, let there be none of any man but all of you. Father, we ask, oh God, have your way. Lord, have your way. Let your amen thunder louder. People of God, lift up your two hands and thunder. Say, I believe the word of God. Say, it is the compass of my living say by the word of the lord i decree over my life every negativity is already finished 
nailed to the cross, crucified, never to be seen again in my destiny. Say, I died with Jesus and I am resurrected with him. Say, the old man is no longer active in my life. Let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder. Amen. Let your amen rise higher. Help me look around your circle and tell everyone around you, congratulations. I say to them, congratulations. Congratulations. Jesus died for you. 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 And if you know that Jesus died for you, let me hear you put your hands together. And can you add a little shout of victory to it? Like you know that Jesus died for you. Give the Lord a loud shout of praise. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Now, people of God, if you leave me, I probably will take you on a journey around the scriptures about what the death of Jesus means to us. But people of God, through times and dispensation, God has always looked for something he will use as a medium of redemption for mankind. Uh, people of God, at the Garden of Eden, if you will remember, at the first time there was a fall of man, uh, God decided to kill an animal but that still had blood in it in order to cover man at that time and people of God from that dispensation to yet another dispensation I mean you remember the time of Noah God wanted to save mankind and all he wanted to do was to use the ark to save mankind people of God from one dispensation to another God has always looked for something to redeem man but then again came the ultimate price to be paid that the true status of man that true dominion of man which was stolen in the garden of Eden be fully restored and Jesus at this point in time God knew that can never be any sacrifice that can redeem the man that he made if not the sacrifice of himself God being God all by himself chose to become a child and entered into the womb of a woman in fact summarily putting it he immortality became mortality in order to save mankind people of God you know the Bible says great is the mystery of godliness people of God it's it baffles the mind. It upsets the thinking, the normal thinking and the logic and the ideology of living that God himself will make himself a sacrifice for you and I. Now, the reason why we are staying on the scripture in the book of Matthew is because every single thing that happened in that scripture should never happen in your life. If you understand it, can you turn that a louder? Amen. Please, can you show me 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 8? Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 8, and we will read 2 Corinthians uh, uh, chapter 2, verse 8. Uh, um, the Bible says, Wherefore I beseech you that you will confirm your love toward him. Put that in one corner of your mind. Now, let's go to Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Uh, the Bible says, now, now, we need to read this. Can we read it together, church? One to go. Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law be made a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone that hanged on a tree if you believe it can you turn that a louder amen i wish your amen will be louder than it is i hope you know that when we come to good friday we are not coming to mourn it is not a what is it called it's not a way keep eh? Eh, what is the other one called now um, it's either a uh, it's not, a, it's not a service of songs. I don't know where you're coming on a day like this when they say Jesus has died. Jesus has died. We are grateful that he died. But he is not dead. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. We are grateful that he carried our shame. He carried our pain. He carried our setback. The Bible says he became poor. The Bible says he became everything negative. That you might enjoy the life that somebody look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Say he paid complete. Say to your neighbor he fully paid. I need you to shout it loud. I say he fully paid. Tell your neighbor he paid for my sins. He paid for my identity. He paid for my wealth. He paid for my family. He paid for my children. He paid for my generations. Yet unborn. Look at your neighbor say we are free. If you believe that thunder a louder amen. People of God, it is important for you to realize that the first thing that we are going to, Je to, to Jesus, people of God, as soon as they held him, the Bible said they bound him. People of God, they limited his expression. 
People of God, remember, I said to you that everything that happened here is what should never happen in your life. People of God, they limited his expression. People of God, they bound him, they tied him. This was how, I, 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 I recall in my mind that I'm wondering, how did he move? People of God, he moved like a man who was bound. His hands were tied, his legs were tied, he had no free movement. But people of God, they still wanted him to make a journey but yet he was bound they wanted him to move to the place where he was going to be crucified but yet they still bound him people of God this is why I know you will not do your journey bound I don't, I, don't, I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying now Jesus still had a reason to move but he was moving tight Jesus had a reason to move I don't know whether you understand this um 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 um, I, I, I need to do this so that you understand fully what I'm saying. Um, let, let me borrow a slimmer person if you don't mind. Um, a slimmer person. No, you're not that slim. I want someone I can tie well. So can, can, you, can I get a shawl or something? Can I get a shawl? An anointed shawl? Praise God. Please, um, help me tie his legs. Tie his legs. Please, can I get another one? Just get another one. So that, so, yes, come and tie his hands. Somebody shall say, I'm not bound. I need you to thunder it again like you mean to say, I am not bound. Can you shout it like you mean to say, I am not bound. If you know that you're not bound, can you thunder it louder? Amen. Can you scream a better? Amen. Okay, people of God, it's important that you hear this. Now, I'm going to be requiring this young man to move. I'm going to be requiring him to move. Right? Huh? So, I need you to move. Is he moving? Is he moving? Is he moving the way he ought to move? Is he moving? Is he moving the way he ought to move? Let me ask you again. Is he moving? Is he moving the way he ought to move? Can you raise your voice and shout fire? Anybody under the sound of my voice that is not moving the way you ought to move, Jesus has paid the price. I announce, let the bondage be broken. Let it 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 be broken. Let your amen turn. I say move the way you ought to move in your walk with God. Move the way you ought to move in your prayer life, in your career life, in your ministry. Raise your voice and thunder. Amen. Take your seat. I didn't plan to be this way today. I wanted to be calmer. So sir, you notice that this guy, even though he was moving, he was moving the way he ought not to move but people will be celebrating him and say he's moving but people of God when Kayani Bolusara he died on the cross he removed everything that was stop you the Bible says in the presence of God there is fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore and where the spirit of God is there is a liberty the Bible says stand fast Stand fast in the liberty we are in. Christ has set you free. I don't know that you understand that. You better stand fast. If Christ has set you free, the Lord is saying, You got to question in that liberty. You got to question. He has already set you free. And the Lord says, Stand fast. Somebody shout. Now stand fast if you believe it under a louder amen would you take your seat I didn't know I was going to be this way so sir the death of Jesus is a reminder that nonsense should not happen around you somebody shout say he paid for it even you you are not sure he paid can somebody scream say he paid for it 
raise your voice and scream the blood of Jesus. And so, sir, when Jesus died, please help me untie him. And when Jesus died, all he did was just to remove everything. Remove every impediment. Remove every shame. Remove mindsets that limit. Kabanda kusabadea. Eshebenea. Remove everything that wants to stop your journey. Andabala kurasadea. And declare your family free. Declare your children free. Declare your career free. Declare every area of your life free. And I announce you are totally free. Now, take your seat. Please walk back the way you ought to walk. Take your seat. He didn't pay for half. Did you hear what I just said? He didn't pay for half. He didn't pay for 10 years. He didn't pay for 15 years. He paid for everything. He paid for your health. He paid for your career. He paid for your career. Somebody shall say he paid it. Take a seat. And people of God, something very remarkable. Remember everything that happened here are things that must never happen in your life. The Bible said, and when they brought Jesus before Pilate, accusation after accusation, he didn't say anything. Because he was about to take our place. He's already taken our place. Up to a point, Pilate had to ask him, all these things that they are accusing you of, will you not say anything? And Jesus was simply trying to say to you, this is the person you should never be. I am this way because there's an assignment. I am this way because I have swapped places with you. Never come to destiny and not say anything. Did you hear what I just said? Never come to destiny and not say anything. People of God, when the devil throws a lie, reply. Did you hear what I just said? Remember I said everything that happened in this scripture are things that should never happen in your life. You know why? I already showed you that he became a curse. People of God, he became poor. That you might be rich. And so people of God, the journey to taking your place, one of the things he did was never to reply. Like a lamb led to the slaughter. He opened not his mouth. So people of God, he, him not opening his mouth is because he had an assignment. Now that he has done the assignment for you, you yourself, your assignment is to do what? Open your mouth. Somebody help me shout, say I will not close my mouth. Anything that looks like what he has taken care of, that is trying to enter your life. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. You are going to open your mouth against whatsoever does not look like what God has ordained. Can you open your mouth? Open your mouth against it. Open your mouth. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. Let me say this. Understand that when I say, open your mouth, I am also speaking generically and saying something that is beyond sound. People of God, there are ways the enemy invalidates confessions. Number one is to make you not believe it. It's to make you not believe it. People of God, the devil invalidates confession by making you speak it, but yet you do not believe it. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. 
always have it at the back of your mind that whatever I say, I need to believe the very things I am declaring. People of God, one of the effective ways that the devil invalidates confession is to make your confession not founded on the word. Sir, if you speak just I am healed, People of God, I am healed. Let me say this. I, I need to remind you again. There is a difference between positive confession and word confession. There's a difference between positive confession. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be sick. I cannot be sick. I cannot be sick. Even those who do not know God, they say that. I cannot be poor. I cannot be poor. I cannot be poor. That, and you say, Pastor, but I confess. I confess. I said something positive. Eh, eh. The devil is not afraid of positive confession. The devil is threatened by word confession. Am I talking to someone? I will not be sick because by his stripes. I am. That one is the one that scares the devil. He is not threatened that you are declaring ah, nothing. I will not lose my wealth. No, no, no. That one is positive confession. So, sir, when you are speaking, don't just speak something positive. Speak something that is embedded in the word. So, sir, whenever you find yourself in a crisis, go and search for scriptures Kabbalah, that are in, are in line with what you're going through. Find the scripture so that as you are declaring, as you are praying and all that, you are using the scripture to declare, understand your positive confession is powerless without the word. Remember, I'm letting you know how the devil invalidates confess and you say ah but pastor said we should open our mouth i open my mouth so upon everything i open my mouth to say it did not work don't open let me also say this confessions and sounds rooted in anxiety and fear people of god they sound like a lullaby in the ear of the devil whenever you are praying making confessions declaring and you're declaring out of anxiety and fear no no, you can't declare out of anxiety and fear. Let me tell you the first thing your confession should do to you. It will change you before it changes the situation. Did you hear what I just said? Every sound of the spirit you are making, how you know you are making the right sound, is that as soon as the sound enters you, even though the situation is there, for some reason you become calm. How you know a word that will work for you is a word that worked in you. Did you hear what I just said right now? How you will know a word that will work for you is a word that worked in you. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, do you now understand it? Tell your neighbor, don't keep quiet. Say to your neighbor, don't keep quiet. Tell your neighbor, say in the courtroom of destiny. I tell your neighbors, don't keep quiet. Tell your neighbor in the courtroom of destiny. Tell your neighbor, don't keep quiet. If you understand it, turn that louder. Amen. And people of God, here where they, they had brought Jesus, everybody. But there was a notable prisoner. A very notorious one. His name was Barabbas. And that one is the one supposed to die. But on that day, someone has to be released. Pilate was saying, who do you want me to release? For? <laughs> they say, and Pilate's wife said, I had some dreams. Don't have, don't put your hand in this just man. Don't have anything to do with him. People of God, let me say this. I know we already know it. Never be part of a plot to hurt a good man. Did you hear what I just said? Never have anything to do with a good man. Because you will be inviting generational trouble on your entire generation. Are you getting what I'm saying? Let me not talk too much on this. People of God, if you go and ask Cain what eventually happened to his generation, he will let you know. But sir, I want you to understand, Jesus was the good man. 
Jesus did the right thing. Jesus did. Remember I said everything that happened in Matthew 27 should never happen in your life. Jesus was the person who came to redeem, who came to do things right, who came to... In fact, at, what, at some point, Pilate had to ask them, what did he do? I want to know what is his cry. All they were shouting is what? Crucify him. Crucify him. We don't want to know what his crime is. All we know is that we want him to die. Sir, this is exactly what it is. How can I pray all these prayers? How can I live right? How can I follow process? How can I write the proposal? How can I? Then when it comes to who should be chosen, they will choose someone who did not do as much as I did. Somebody say, not in my head. If you understand the thunder it again, say, not my head. If you believe it, can you scream it? Say, not my head. If you believe it, thunder it louder. Amen. Amen. Sir, do you know the shocking part of it? Pilate took water, washed his hands, and said, I will not have anything to do with this man. I don't want to have anything to do with this man. Chai, that was a noble act. But just when I was celebrating Pilate, Next thing the Bible said, Pilate brought the same good man who he has washed his hands and took a scourge. And boy, excuse me, sir. Did you not just wash your hand? Why are you now scourging someone? Why? We need to read this scripture in another translation. Show me this scripture, maybe in TPT, so that God's people will understand what I'm talking about. So he released Barabbas to the people. He ordered that Jesus be beaten with a whip of leather straps embedded with metal and afterward be crucified. Sir, before he handed it over to them, this was a man that you finished washing your hands. How come after your wife gave you all, and all of that revelation, you still went to beat him. Sir, even you, I don't know how many of you who've been through situations, even at some point when your helpers become your tormentors. At the sound of your amen, that will never happen in your life. I wish your amen will thunder louder than that. I wish your amen will rise better than that. I wish your amen will rise higher. Somebody help me son, thunder say he paid it in full. Can you shout it louder? Say he paid it in full. Can you thunder it better? Say he paid it in full. And sir, that is not all. The Bible says, as soon as they took Jesus out of that place, they took his garment. They thought. Meanwhile, before they tore his garment, brother Judas had already come back to his senses. Brother Judas, the people, I had Sakata. I was preparing to talk about the Judas spirit. The people that are with you, but they are against you. The Judas spirit, the people who fulfill negative prophecies, Oh yes, where well, I wanted to for, for speak on, I, I thought I was, but the Holy Spirit said to me, no, I wanted to talk on how to fulfill negative prophecies so that you will watch yourself, so that you don't align yourself to fulfilling prophecies that are negative. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying, but sir, do you know that all that, as soon as Judas saw that the, the game has changed, he took 30 pieces of silver, what he collected, that is what he collected. That's what he sold Jesus for. 30 pieces of silver. 30 pieces of silver. That is what uh, 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 Judas sold his master for. As you look at Jesus like this, the worth of Jesus is 30 pieces of silver. And he looked at him and said, let me return it. Let me return it. And then he, people, they told him that's your business. Anything you want to do, you have sold him is that. You have sold him 30 pieces of silver. Somebody, I want you to say this with all the strength in your voice. Say, I am worth more than that. 
Let me say this. Never let anybody reduce your worth to tears. Did you hear what I just said? Never let anyone reduce your worth. This is how you know the wrong people in your life. When they don't see you, they see the things that you bring. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So the worth of Jesus was 30 pieces of silver. People of God, as Jesus, listen, it's not today that Judah started. When the woman with the alabaster box, if you remember, that woman broke the alabaster box at the feet of Jesus. Ha! Huh? That was Judas. Now he was the one that gave that opinion. He said, Look, look at what they are breaking. Eh? This thing should have been sold and given to the poor. The Bible said that it is not because he cared for the poor, but because he's the one that kept the poor. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Not because he cared for the, because he kept the, so which means he was servicing his destiny through that uh, uh, post that he had. He was service. then he comes again. He was a thief, a complete thief. In fact, the Bible says this he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. So he has been stealing. So it's only a matter of time before he now starts stealing human beings. Oh yes, and he took 30 pieces of silver. I beg of you, don't let people reduce your what to things. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Let nobody treat you like this is all that can man never so tell about. Somebody shall say, I'm what more than that. For all the years you've gone through low self-esteem, lift up your right and say, I am what more than that. For all the years people have conspired, gossiped, spoken lies against you, tried to demean who you are, lift up your right and say, I am what more than that. I know you made mistakes that may have impacted on your life, made you feel like your mistakes is who you are. Lift up your right hand. Don't say, I am what more than that. If you believe it, let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. People of God, these are the things that should never happen to you. Never look at yourself as what anything, what the things that people think you are what. Never look at yourself that way. You are what more than that? You are a daughter of the king. You are what more than that? People of God, you cannot be in their life and they are slapping you up and down. In the name of being in a relationship, you are what more than that? People of God, they cannot be verbally abusing you and people of God, you are sucking up to them for no reason. You are what more than People of God, I know you need money, but there are kinds of money you don't need in your life. You are what more than that. I know you took exam, and when it came out, you saw failure. I came to let you know you are what more than that. I know you probably might be struggling with an addiction, and then you keep telling yourself, what are you doing every day? I came to tell you, you are what more than if you believe it shall fire. And all that Judas did was to tie the identity of Jesus to things. Tie the identity of Jesus to 30 pieces of silver. Tie the identity of Jesus. Listen, you don't even know what you are what. For you, Kadaba, you might be an earthen vessel, but there are treasures inside of you. You are what more than the Bible says, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of men what the Lord has prepared for them that love. You are what more than you are not who your boss has said you are. You are what more than that. You are not where your degree has kept you. You are what more than that. Am I communicating? A young man went through school in Nigeria and then he came out with third class, powerful third class. For some reason, he went abroad and did and um, was called undergraduate again. People of God, he smashed it, came out 
with first class. Not just with first class. Was the university valley. Finish it. That thing I, I haven't learned how to call it well. Valley, the to, 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 so something. So, the guys, but then again, his folks who used to know him will be looking at him and say, that guy, that but sir, that's not who he is. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Somebody shout again, say, that's not who I am. If you believe it, can you turn that in louder? Amen. Now, sir, as I get ready to tidy up, I want you to watch this drama. They took the garment of Jesus and put on him a scarlet robe, which is like a purple robe, which like, is like the kingly robe. I don't know what you're getting what I'm saying. They put on him a kingly robe by the Yasia. However, they handed over to him the reed plant. Did you hear what I just said? Now, if you know the reed, the reed is a water plant. Sir, if you just do it like this, it will scatter. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So, sir, understand that even in Bible times, even now, every king has a staff of authority. So, sir, they put on him the garment of a king, but gave him an authority that was feeble. Let me say it differently. Every believer who knows his identity, but does not know his authority, will end up the same way his identity was taken eventually. Sir, understand your identity is a reason for you to push your authority. Did you hear what I just said? Now, what lays the foundation for kingdom authority is kingdom identity. So, from who you are, push your authority. But, sir, the devil makes it, I am saved. But you don't have capacity to make some changes happen. Don't believe that. Sir, they put on him a kingly robe. But all they gave him was what? A reed. Am I communicating? And then they put on him a crown of thorns. There was a crown on his head, but it was a painful one. There was a crown of, on his head, but he was bleeding. There was a crown on his head, but blood was coming out of it. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. People of God, let me say this to every believer. Don't seek for crowns when you need a helmet. So, he tells us about the armor. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. As Paul begins to address and tell believers about the armor of Christ. And then he says, let your head. What should be in your head is the helmet of salvation. But you see, the dilemma of my generation is that instead of looking for the helmet of salvation, we are looking for crowns that will eventually become thoughts can I beg you differently if you wear your helmet first and put a crown on it whether it is thorn or whether it's the right one it will not hurt you sir don't rush for a crown first when the first thing your destiny needs is what a helmet There are those who rushed for a crown and the crown became their nemesis. I know what I am saying. People of God, cover your head first. Cover your thinking first. Cover the processes of your mind first. Sir, don't rush. Put the crown, put the crown, put the crown, put the crown on my head. Put the crown on my head. Sir, there are crowns on your head. You see, bleeding we are talking about. Oh, so the things that will make, anything that will make you lose value. Jesus was losing blood. There are crowns on your head that will make you lose your faith. Lose your passion. Lose your hunger. Lose where you ought to be. Even make you lose hard work. I pray for you. Listen. May you not receive a premature crown. 
I'm not sure you heard what I said. Sir, your crown, there's nothing like a crown that sits beautifully on your head. And when you look at it, you know that this crown came out of all the works of, but sir, there are crowns when they are thrown on a man's head. And it is a premature crown. It is the nemesis of that man's destiny. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. When you are offered a crown or a helmet, first of all, wear your helmet. Then you can now wear your crown. Am I communicating? There's a generation who will rather go for the crown, forgetting the helmet. But sir, Jesus told us this is what should never happen to you. Don't rush for the crown. You are a soldier. We are there. There are some people who may have packaged a crown of tongues for you. They are wondering after they packaged it, it looked good. When they were, they looked good. They planned it for evil and packaged it as something good. And then eventually they wore you that crown. But they have been seeing you smile and dance. And they are wondering, but, but we thought we put the crown of thorns on that one. Yes, sir. Yes, ma. You actually put the crown of thorns. But what you did not know, before your crown entered my head, I already had a helmet. I don't know whether you're understanding what I'm saying. So have that at the back of your mind. Sir, this was how Jesus went all the way and they parted his garment. They took the purple robe from him. Don't let me walk too many things. But they took the purple robe from him. That's not even where I'm going to. And they took him and crucified him. Nailed him on the cross. Sir, he was thirsty. The Bible said they brought vinegar. They brought wine. Interestingly, this translation said it was mingled with gall. The wine was sweet. The gall was bitter. They gave it to him at the same time. How do I drink bitter sweet thing? at the same time. So one second it is sweet. Next second it is bitter. If you mix bitter and sweet together, it is sour. Jesus said, no. This should never happen. I took bitterness so that you will remain in the place called sweet. And your life should never be a life of bitter today, sweet tomorrow, bitter today, sweet tomorrow, bitter today, sweet tomorrow. Church, listen, I want to say it in case you forgot. God cannot be tempted with evil. Never forget. Pastor, are you saying that a Christian cannot go through challenging times? Yes, you can. God can allow it, but God will not alter it. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. God can allow some things happen to you, but it is not God that created it. It's not God that authored it in your life. God can allow it in order to prove you, to test you, to capacitate you, to mature you, but it doesn't mean that it is God that made it happen. The Bible says God cannot be tempted with evil. Am I communicating? And this was what they offered Jesus. Let me say to you, and do an aside there are people who should never feed you no matter how thirsty you are never ask them to give you a drink see these are enemies core enemies of Jesus look and Jesus was saying I'm thirsty but I want to make a prayer for, for you now may you never have a reason to beg your enemy for something Did you hear what I just said? Take your seat. Because there are people who are waiting on you. Don't worry. One day they will beg me. One day they will do. Kai, sir, before you beg them, they will beg you. But mark my word, there are people you never ask. 
Jesus asked, I, I am thirsty. This is, remember I said everything that happened in this scripture should never happen in your life. There are people you don't drink from. There are people you don't drink from. There are tables you don't drink from. There are conversations you don't drink from. There are individuals you don't drink from. Even if they offer you, tell them thank you. Am I communicating? Jesus drank from them in order to teach us, mind those you drink from. Because you ask for water, some of them will offer you acid. So, mind who you drink from. Am I communicating? I want to say this again as I tidy up. Before you receive their crown, first of all, wear your helmet. Did it make sense? Can you rise on your feet wherever you are? Would you rise on your feet wherever you are? Would you raise your communion to God? Can you speak in the Holy Ghost for the next few minutes? For the next few seconds. Speak in the Holy Ghost over your communion. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Shadiba la de koro de bosi de baladira. Shende koto si la balade yaraba. Lende koro sata balabara bashi bono kota laba. Lekete ya barabarabsa. There's going to be massive healings. Massive healings. Keda baranda kosopada. Bodies will be healed. Families will be healed. Careers will be healed. Speak in the Holy Ghost. 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 Kabalebo roshana balaba. Lekete barababa sotaba lekadoshia. Ledebe debe de kotona balababa babasada. Rakata balabara bakosa talabara ba rekoto balaya ne be ana baba shada barokoto da leketen ne be ana balaba baba shada balika da rakoto balabara baba sate ana ba rakopo tia shade bala Lord let the blood flow koto balabara ba let healings occur let there be change let destinies be ya takoda ba. Let shackles be broken. Oh, bade bakadada. Rain ne kete de balosotoya. Rabade be akosha da balababata ko. Let addictions give way. Anabodia. Akundi balababa. Let demonic possessions be ayakuba. Itata tabale anoko. Rende be anabababa shakota. Rekoto bolo de baraba. Rekete be anababa. Ashakoto labara. Rekopo lati yade, rekete bi ane baba baba, ashaba toka, ale koto bala, rekete bi da bala, rekoto bala dasi, ashaba da bala ba, rakato ndebe, rekoto bala ba, raba shaba da kata, rekopo lo sopoto, rekebe tebelesha, ataba le bara bokoto, ashaba ta, abala bara baba ba sokoto, rekete bi asata, ashata ta. Let your amen turn the louder. By the reason of the communion in your hands, the blood of Jesus and the flesh of Jesus. If your amen will thunder like a warrior, hear me. It is finished. Shame is finished. Delay is finished. Affliction is finished. Infirmity is finished right now. Let your amen thunder seven times. Eat of the flesh of Jesus. Drink of the blood of the new covenant.
Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Be magnified, O oh God. Be magnified, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Were you blessed today? Would you celebrate the Lord by putting those hands together for the Lord? Put together your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership. Put it together and raise it before the Lord. Put together your offerings. Put it together. Glory to God. Put together your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership. Lift it before the Lord. Make it a wave offering. Make it a wave offering before the Lord. In streams of joy, we stand to give to God. Some of you were literally waiting for me to say it again before you stand. Will you rise on your feet with your offerings and make it a wave offering? Make it a wave offering. Let the blessings of those who have honored the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Be magnified, O oh God. For our lives will never remain the same again. Father, we are who we are because you died. Father, We've got no pedigree if not for your death. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. For the blood has never lost its power. The blood, our healing. The blood, our deliverance. The blood, our identity. The blood, our joy. Be magnified, Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your amen thunder louder. Go ahead and drop your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership. And as soon as you do that, you can take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Glory to God. And people of God, as you take your seat in the presence of the Lord, once you give your offerings, go ahead and take your seat in the presence of the Lord. It's important that I inform everyone under the sound of our voice that Sunday service shall be great. I thought you were going to celebrate the Lord right now. It is the resurrection service. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead. So sir, is it going to be a power service? Yes, that is what it is. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead. And people of God, have it at the back of your mind that your life will never be the same again. First service is by 7 a.m. And the second service is by 8.30 a.m. The third service is by 10.15 a.m. Fourth service is by 11.45 a.m. But then again, I will encourage you to pick up testimony forms from within the week. Uh, testimony forms, did I say within the week? Today, if you desire to testify, today, tomorrow, feel and submit before next Sunday. So before Sunday, okay, this announcement is cast on concrete. Before Sunday service, so you will be scheduled to testify in church on Sunday. Never forgetting that a new month prayer is happening on the 1st of April. 1st of April, in fact, there will be three days, three days of new month prophetic prayers. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. For what our God cannot do does not exist. What's today for you? What's today for you? Now look at your neighbor, say neighbor. I want to share with you what blessed me in this service today. Okay, so look at your neighbor and share with your neighbor. Share with your neighbor. Share with your neighbor. Share with your neighbor. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Somebody help me thunder. Say it is finished. Do you believe it is finished? Everything was crucified on the cross. We have a new life in Christ. It is not our life. It is his life. 
Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. I'm not living my life anymore. I'm living the, oh my goodness. I'm living the life of Christ. People of God, everything you see is the life of Christ. My being is beyond my normal DNA. My being is not according to my family bloodline. I am living the life of Christ. Were you blessed being in service this morning? Would you rise on your feet and lift up your two hands? I announce over your life. May there be waiting miracles for you. I announce over your life. May there be a turnaround that sounds like lies. I announce over your life. Because Jesus has died and resurrected. Let there be an expression of the new life in you. Your best days have started. Lift up your two hands. Declare, say, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. I am saying of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, my God, in Him will I trust. I wish your amen would thunder louder. Would you walk up to 14 persons and scream in their ear, It is finished!